Hello and welcome to the third part of this video where I'm going uh, through CreeDX's Artuna Lico battle system for RPG Maker XP and kind of explaining how it works. Um, in this video we're going to continue talking about the Ravatail class, the Ravatail character class, and then we'll go into the script a little bit. Um, the Ravatail is a little bit tricky um, working with her. You can't just assign skills as you normally would. Um, because of how the system is set up. If you just give her uh, whatever, Symphony of Light, and then you want her to cast that spell, it's going to have an adverse effect. The previous video we looked at how um, a non Ravatail character using a Ravatail skill would have no effect. In this one, we're going to look at how using a non Ravatail skill by a Ravatail would have some problems. Um, there you go. It basically gives you an error saying you have not defined that skill as a Ravatail skill. So this is where we go into the script. First let's get rid of that skill. Um, you do not want to give a Ravatail a skill that is not for a Ravatail, not specifically defined, and uh, because the game will crash. And you do not want to give a normal character uh, you know, someone who's not a Ravatail, a Ravatail class skill, because it might work, but it will just do no damage. Alright, so let's go ahead and kind of do that to show you how it would do no damage, and then we'll move on to the actual script itself and what it looks like. Now let's Sarmo, there we go, Blast, That's Harmonic Burst, this is the Harmo skill, and we'll go into the Harmo skill later on. Last two, and in this one, let's just give this guy the healing wave. Alright, so again, this is a quick reminder. This is what happens when you give a non Ravatail character a Ravatail skill. Basically, they get their turn skill. We go all the way down, and where is it? I'm, oh, yeah, blast and it does zero damage and this guy um, we didn't give him one so let's just defend and then this guy healing wave well I guess the healing wave does work so um, but when it comes to offensive wise um, you know you don't really want to do that you don't want to have a character basically do no damage. Um, the reason why the healing wave would work, by the way, it's because the healing wave is set to start at 100% and as the... Oh, let's, let's just go ahead and use it. And as the Ravatail bar is filled up, it basically is recast every so often. So, Song Magic, it, it essentially doesn't really charge up, it's just um, cast every... turn. Alright, so let's just defend and at some point again she'll cast it again. It'll keep charging up. We'll guard, guard. And you see she's automatically casting it without me really having to do anything. There you go. Alright, so that's how the healing spell works and that's I guess why a main character using healing uh, as specifically defined the healing wave uh, would work. But anyway, let's go ahead and look at the script for a second. Um, hopefully you can see that well enough. I don't know what resolution this is recording at. Um, I know it's doing like 20 frames per second, but um, anyway, the Creed EX script isn't just one script. It's actually two different scripts. We have uh, Der Wolfman's uh, animated Minkoff script you know you have the configuration this is the one that you play with if you want to play with where the characters are standing etc and we'll go into that in a little bit and then these you don't really need to touch but we'll go over them quickly um, you know you have the formation system you have the active battle system and then you have the Artunelico CVS uh, you know custom battle system with all of the things that control it so what you want to do is uh, if you want to change the Ravatail class, that's the only thing we're going to do in this video, into something else. You need to find here, 
name of Ravetail class, you want to change Ravetail to, well, let's call it Wizard, because a wizard always does it, right? A wizard did it. Um, let's say that instead of having the techniques that Ravetail use, uses be called song, you want to call it a spell. So instead of calling it song magic, you want to call it spell. Instead of having activate spell, you want to call it cast spell. And instead of song cancellation, we call it stop casting. Then there's red and blue magic. This basically defines whether it's offensive or defensive, um, and some other stuff that we're not going to go into right now. Um, this is sort of what the uh, core of the Ravetail function looks like. You know, you have seen battles, some other stuff. It basically checks to see if you have more than one Ravetail in your party. If you if it does, then it won't let you play the game, etc. So we've done that and you might think you're good to go. We already changed the Ravetail class to Wizard, um, but you haven't really. Now you need to go back into the database. You need to rename Ravetail into Wizard. And you need to remember that capitalization is important. Um, you know, basically it needs to be exactly the same. So when you play the game, new game. Now you are going to have a wizard in your party with the ability to cast the spell, the selection of spells, and then stop casting. Of course, the typo there. Uh, forgot the G, so uh, let's go ahead and select the spell. Red magic or blue magic. If you remember in the script where it said blue magic or red magic, this is basically what it changes, but then of course you have to go back into the database and change. Uh, the description of the spells, but we'll do that in a later video. So let's go ahead and cast Red Magic, and you'll see down here where it says Wizard Command instead of Ravetail Command. That's what happens when we changed the class. So let's go ahead and cast a Wizard spell. You'll see that it functions in exactly the same way as the Ravetail song casting works. It's just a different name, which is, of course, useful if you want to modify the script, make it really your own, make it into something that's really different from the Artonel ecosystem. Uh, so let's leave this video at that. I don't really want to overcomplicate things and um, I, I, yeah, well, I'll see you next video.